With full stomachs and places to be, Nathan, Ollie and I hit the road once again on our way to Stonehenge from Noonbar Station. Angus Emmett described the change of scenery best when he said, the landscape becomes open Mitchell grass downs on grey, cracking clays, with gidgy woodlands running up into residual hills with mulga and lancewood. Always the nature expert is Angus. It wasn't too long until we encountered something quite unusual, our first hill of the trip. Spread out all over the wide, flat area on top was the Stonehenge address book. Not your typical refidex or diary, this spot has become quite the tourist attraction. Ollie took me through it. The story goes that uh, in the 80s, a uh, postman, Johnny Weston, was broken down and he was on his way from Junda and he decided to write Junda on the hill. And of course, in old bush tradition, there is plenty of rivalry between each town. So then the people of Stonehenge wrote a bigger name and then a lot of the shearers along the way and a lot of locals then started throwing their names down and then with you know the boom in outback tourism we've been seeing this just expand and expand and it's become one of those sites you have to hit on your way uh, through Stonehenge it's one of the key places to go when I first moved out here people were like oh you've got to get your name up on the hill so I do. After signing my name rather unspectacularly compared to some of the sign-ins it was a short drive to the town of Stonehenge where we enjoyed our first cold one of the trip. Behind the counter was Estelle from France, who was in town to get a taste of the Australia she dreamed about. It's really authentic and it's more, yeah. it's more the, the image that I had from Australia than Sydney, actually. It was a really good experience and I think it's going to be one of the most incredible experiences that I had in my life. I met so many nice people, really friendly and helpful and always happy and they don't need anything to be happy and when you're living in big city and stuff you just like always want more always want some stuff to being more happy and here actually you don't need anything you just enjoying the sunset with a beer and that's it you're happy with day one of our adventure winding up we said au revoir to Estelle and Stonehenge and hit the road for Windora where we'd be calling it a night On the next episode, Windora pulls out all the stops for the thousands of travellers passing through town on the way to Birdsville. And we also sneak in a night of bullock riding action. So I'll catch you then on the road to Big Red.